Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to insert data into a database. Before getting started, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. So let me close all these tabs. Open my code. So here you can see that I have created three folder and I have included CSS and JS link just linked with the header and footer with the script. And then all these files I have included into my index.php which will be as a base. So let's create here a section. Container and row column md of 12. Give the 12 here. And inside this column md12, create a card. Card, card, header, and with an h4 tag, uh, give php, rod, or ud, insert data into database using php. So let's give a class and give bold align this to center as well text center so let's go reload and check with this let's make this container bit down so give margin top as 5 we will create a button a tag so let's redirect this to insert dot php give a name as insert data so once this button is clicked it will go to insert.php let's give a class as well for this btn btn primary so you can see you can reload and check now you have header and you have one button here when you click on this button you can see it is directing to insert.php you have here insert.php inside insert.php you have included again the head of navbar and the footer as well. So here we'll create a form. Let's get started with that section container row column md12 and inside this we'll create a card. Inside card give a card header and with an h4 tag give a class as bold and text center give the name for it i am giving it as insert data after card header give the card body so in, within this card body we have to create form so let's use get bootstrap for the form design go back here and search for form scroll down a bit and you can see your form we'll copy this and design accordingly so let's copy this and paste it here Design properly so now what you have to do is form will have two things right one is action and the method so action that we are going to direct that to another page and we are going to have method method will be post so this post is very important to send data from the form we don't require this and we don't require id let's remove this and give name is equal to email let's copy this and paste make this as name and this name give us name give here full name so it will not confuse instead of email give text we are not going to use password and all and we'll just copy paste it once again and make this as mobile number so mobile number make this to number and change this name to number or phone you have a button here let's cut this give margin bottom three inside this paste the button so once this button is clicked it has to go to we'll create a file code.php and we'll give a name here for the button 
as insert button. When user clicks on this, it will copy this name and go to code.php with the post method. So let's copy this. Before that, let's go and reload and check. Let us make that as 8. Let's go and reload now. Let's give a margin top 5 and make this so as justify content to the center. Go and reload now. You can see now the form looks good. We have submit here. We'll go rename that to insert data. Once this button is clicked, it will take this name and go to code.php with the post method. Create a file code.php. So here, let's open close PHP. And First, we'll check if is set of dollar post of that button. If that button is clicked, what has to happen? If that button is clicked, it has to take the value of this input tag. So let's go create variable here. Name is equal to dollar post of dollar post of name. Copy this and paste it here similarly we have to do for two more fields so copy paste twice and rename this to email and the last one to phone now you have created this so once this is done we have to write the query for the insertion let's create a variable as insert query insert into insert into the table name let's go check our table name so our table name is users so i have created one php crud and i have a users table here so i have columns here like id name email and phone so let's copy this table name and paste it here insert into users column names values and pass the variable so let's give a semicolon here. Column name, we have name, email, and phone. The variable names within single quotes just paste these variable names. So copy, paste, copy, paste, and paste. So what this a line of code is telling is we have created a variable and we have written the insert query so insert into the users table these are the column names and these are the variable names so once after this we have to connect with a database so give insert query run create another variable insert query run is equal to using mysqli query function we have to connect our database so i am just giving the variable as connection and I am going to connect insert query variable where my insert query is stored. Give a semicolon. Now, if you check the, this connection where it is coming from, we have not yet given the database connection. So let's copy this and paste it here. Connect database using MySQLi connect function. Give local host and give you a username username is root and password is null and give you a database name so database name is php crud so let's copy this and paste it here connection is set now so this connection only we are using it here once after this we have to check if that data is inserted or not how will we know if that is inserted so if that data is inserted successfully if data is inserted successfully let's echo and tell data inserted successfully else echo data not inserted successfully we have finished writing the code. Let's go and test the code. Reload this page and here you can see a full name, email, mobile number. So let's give full name as Neha. Email 
sneha at gmail dot com mobile number and insert data so you can see we are getting data inserted successfully let's go and reload our database you can see that user one id number one sneha email is this and phone number is this this got inserted let's test entering another user also let's go back reload this page and tell anu anu at gmail dot com give the mobile number click on insert data so you can see data inserted successfully let's go and reload so you can see that the two data that we have entered has got inserted successfully so once it is inserted let's redirect this back to index page so give header inside single quotes give location and give the file name where it has to be redirected so i am giving it in index.php copy Paste this, and if that data is not inserted, let this be in insert dot php itself. So let's go insert one more data and check reload. Let's give home home at gmail dot com insert data. So you can see once the data is inserted, it got redirected back to the index page. We'll be making a separate video on session message. So if you reload and check the database, you can see that the third data also has been entered successfully. So I hope this video was helpful. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.